make it. Need a life for the ideas. I'm in the splash zone with the brain waves. I only have one piece left, so at this point, you're gonna beat me no matter where I move. So I can move here, and then I'm stuck, and it's gonna be your turn. So let's see how this goes. Go ahead. I didn't even think about that. Oh my goodness, you won. I'm proud of you, man. High five. Ready to eat? Hey y'all, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia Danielle, and today I have a few errands that I need to run. I need to go get this nail polish taken off of my nails because it's like gel polish, but the gel um, is basically outrun my nail bed. And so I wanna go get it soaked and just get like a manicure and just get clear polish. I also need to go to the container store and I also think and believe I will be going to Sephora's. I don't wanna spend too much money today, but I do need to get a few items like some lip gloss. Um, I also wanna go check out some new perfume that I seen that was released by Marc Jacobs. And I also need to go to Lowe's. And if you see me looking down, it's because I was taking notes in my phone and I wanted to make sure that I said those things so you all can get a glimpse or a gist of what I will be doing today. I also wanna say, happy belated Valentine's Day. Um, Valentine's Day was last Wednesday. I went to go see, or me and my husband went to go see One Love, which I felt like it was not all of that. Maybe more to the story need to, needed to be in the movie, but if you have not seen it, um, I don't wanna tell y'all about it, but what I will say is that you can absolutely wait until it comes out on Voodoo, Hulu, Netflix, whatever the case may be. But being that it was Valentine's Day and we wanted to think of something to do by spending some time together, we went to the movie to go see that. I also got two charms for Valentine's Day. I got a high heel and then I got this turtle. Not sure if y'all can see, but I will flip it over. And I also got some new sneakers. And so my Valentine's Day was pretty nice, chill, relaxing, no complaints. And then this weekend I went to South Carolina because it was my brother's birthday yesterday, February the 18th, and we had a good time. We went to this restaurant called Sakura on the south side of Aiken, and the food was amazing. I don't know, maybe because I had been drinking, and y'all know how when you get to drinking, like all food tastes good. So for me, I felt like um, the services was good, the food was good. We did have, have to wait like maybe an hour, even though we had reservations, but the reason why we had to wait was because we could not be seated until the entire party showed up and then we had some folks that was coming in and so of course we had to wait on them and that was pretty much my weekend. I am back at home. I have washed all the clothes, ironed all the clothes for the week and so this week is going to be a pretty short week for me. My Tuesday tomorrow will be my Monday because every Monday is extremely busy for me even though we do have a short week and I also want to show y'all my glasses because the army issued me some glasses and show y'all my new shades and then on the back end which will be probably tomorrow when I upload this because I usually upload videos on Sundays. I wanna show y'all how I style my hair when I get ready to go to work and give y'all an update on my attraction alopecia. And if you have any questions about it, you can ask me in the comments below. But if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure you click on that subscribe button, give this video a like and watch this video until the end. And so without further ado, I'll go ahead and show y'all my shades that I picked up from Amazon if you want to cop a pair these are the shades that I will be rocking today and then I'm going to show y'all my glasses that the army issued to me so keep watching the army gave me four pair of glasses and I have a set of each and it is because during R2E y'all probably don't know what that is but it was this um, pilot program that the army had to where we were turning in all kind of excess damage equipment or doing lateral like, transfers or like just transferring equipment from one organization to another another organization for like three months and it was a constant um, every day all day process and my eyes started getting really bad because I was standing at the computer screen for like 
eight hours a day because I go to work from 9 to 4.30. And over those course of the three months, like my vision just started getting bad. I was diagnosed with being nearsighted. And so I had to sit up really, really close on the computer screen. But this is the basic pair that I got. And I thought that it was really cute and it does the job. And so the army gave me this pair and then they allowed me to pick out another frame, which I will show y'all next. So I have two pair of these and then I'll show y'all the other pair that I have a pair of two of. And so this is the other pair and I have both of these here at the house with me. These frames were a frame that I could pick out on my own. And this frame, the first frame that I showed y'all was like the basic issue that they gave me. Um, they just basically said, hey, these are your glasses that you can use every day. And then for these, this is kind of like a, a more fashionable frame but I don't really wear these that often because I don't really go anywhere to where I need to be wearing glasses as far as like reading when I do need my glasses because I'm sitting close up on a computer or like I'm reading a book because again I am nearsighted and so they gave me two pair of these and I also have two pair of these I have a pair here at home with me and then I also have a pair at my office and so the ones at my office that are like this stay on top of my desk because I put them on immediately when I get on the computer and so even though I look at three screens throughout the day my vision is still kind of bad and I have to sit really close to the computer screen to see what it is that I am looking at so those were my glasses that I wanted to show you all and then I want to finish getting ready run some errands go get my nails or the polish taken off go to the container store go to Sephora's possibly and me and Phoenix supposed to go to Cracker Barrel he has been asking about going to Cracker Barrel a lot and so I feel like that's what I'm going to go ahead and do to kind of like finish celebrating Valentine's Day with him I got him a teddy bear some balloons and some candy and then his class had like the Valentine's Day fun at school as well but since he has been asking about it and talking about it for the longest I am going to take Phoenix to Cracker Barrel and so I'm gonna finish getting ready I do have my shades again that I will be wearing today and these are the shades that I picked up from Amazon if you are an Amazon Prime holder you can get next day shipping if not you have to wait maybe three or four days and the shipping is not free and so I always tend to use my husband's account to get like next day shipping but I have a business account but I'm not a Prime member and the packages take two to three days to get here versus it being that day. And so I seen these shades and I thought they were really cute and I'm gonna show y'all what they look like. But this is the box that they came in. Plastic. And depending on like what type of shades or what kind of shades you order from Amazon, they will come in like an actual um, shade case but this just came in the plastic and so I did say I was going to get like a shade holder because I have started accumulating accumulating a lot of shades but I just have not yet so what I do now for like temporary storage is just put them in my empty purses that I don't use and so this is a lens slash shade wipe to wipe my shades off with if they get dirty also came with a shade case or a holder and these are the shades and so these are the shades they are black with gold trim around the end and outside and I believe these shades were $13.99 I think they came out to be 20 bucks but the gold trimming is nice the black is nice and y'all tell me what y'all think and if y'all are interested in purchasing a pair of shades like these because they have multiple colors I will link them down below or I will link these down below and then once you go to the link you will see multiple different color and pair if you do not like the black with the gold and then also just a reminder that I got these earrings from off of Amazon as well and I will link the earrings down below Welcome back. 
welcome to my channel. So I'm gonna catch y'all up on some things that took place on Monday. So me and Phoenix went to the container store. Unfortunately, they did not have any more of the shoe containers that I needed. And so they said to check back on Thursday because they were gonna get a shipment of 30 boxes. And so on Thursday, she said I can order offline and come pick them up or I can order and then have them shipped to the house. I really don't know if I wanna have them shipped to the house because the fee, but based off of the fee and then driving to Raleigh, which is an hour away, it just depends. But I do need some more containers. From out of the container store though, I did decide to get a egg tray instead. So, um, well not instead, but I still ended up getting something from out of the container store since I did not get my shoe, shoe containers. And so I got an egg container or an egg, uh, something you can put eggs in. I got that and then right after, we went to the mall, and when we went to the mall, we went to Sephora's. Sephora's had ran out of so much stuff, like everything was low in stock, but I did get some hand sanitizer, and I also got some Fenty Heat lip gloss because I was running out, I'm really low on that, and so those were the only two items that I was able to get. I was looking for some one size stuff and some fancy stuff, but I just decided not to get it. And then we stopped by Apple because Phoenix phone needs to get reset or the passcode or something. And it was an hour wait. And so I put my name on the list for them to text me whenever we could come in and get the phone checked out. But being that we had already went to Sephora's and we had went to the Auntie Anne's to get like some pretzel bites or whatever, we didn't really look around too much in the mall because I had things that I know I needed to get done before the end of the day and so being that it was going to take an hour we just decided to go to Cracker Barrel we went to Cracker Barrel we played checkers I let Phoenix look around finally made it to Cracker Barrel and then after we made it to Cracker Barrel you know I let Phoenix look around we played checkers together he beat me as y'all can see in the beginning of the video he beat me and then we sat down and we ate and the food was all right I really love Cracker Barrel's pancakes but I did not get my nail polish taken off it was going on like maybe six o'clock by the time we was leaving and it take a out it takes an hour for me to get back to like where i stay and at that point like the nail place and stuff was about to close they closed at seven so i decided to get some gas for the week for me to go back and forth to work um and i didn't want to have to get gas throughout the week so i went ahead and filled up on gas we went to walmart grabbed a few things and we came home and that was pretty much it so even though um i had intentions on getting my nail polish taken off i was not able to and then i also decided to get two new charms one on my bracelet and then one on the necklace that i am wearing so this is the front of the charm and this is the back. And so it was buy one, get one 50% off. So I ended up getting two charms, the necklace one and one to go on my actual Pandora bracelet, which is a heart. And the heart is red, but it changes to pink based off of your body temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready um, as far as like my makeup and I meal prepped and so I'm gonna grab my breakfast and stuff out of the refrigerator. I will be going to the morning jump to get some coffee and then I have to cut my PBO and seal some red velvet cake because I got a red velvet cake for my brother's birthday, like my own cake. Um, and it's huge and we all can't eat it. And so I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and then show y'all on the back end right before I get ready to go my edges and give y'all an update on my traction alopecia. All right, y'all, so I am done with my makeup. I just took my scarf off so I can show y'all my edges. And so I just wanted to give y'all a quick update on my traction alopecia. My last appointment was in November. I was supposed to have one ton appointment in December, um, right around Christmas time, but like with the holidays and everything, I was not able to go get my injections in December. And so I had to reschedule and the first available appointment that they had was this month, which is in February. So I'm going to get, I think that's Going to be like my fourth set of injections and i'm not really sure if i will show y'all or provide another vlog or video based off of me going to get my injections but i have 63 locks i have been locked for four years december the 24th i went and got my hair locked december the 24th 2019 and i just hit four years um this past december and so i was diagnosed with traction alopecia they did a biopsy which y'all can probably see if i get a little closer up here 
Um, but what I have noticed is that my edges are slowly growing in. I have been using the topical solution every single day, um, but I use the topical solution at night because I feel like throughout the day, I don't wanna put a topical solution on my hair and like my hairline is like really really greasy and so i put it on at night and then i tie my hair up with either that scarf or a bonnet um i saturate my locks in water and have i seen a significant improvement i'm going to say no but i have seen some improvement over the course of the past six months because i initially started going to be seen in august and so these are my edges. They are growing in really fine. Um, and when I go to work, I just pull my hair down to the side like this, y'all, to try to like cover it up and then take my locks and do like this and put them in a ponytail with a scrunchie, which I will post on my Instagram. So if you wanna follow my Instagram at AmeliaG5587, you will see that I made a post of just my hair on my locks being in a ponytail. And so I'm gonna spin around and do a 360 and show y'all um, what the back of my locks are looking like based off of me putting it in a ponytail. But I try not to pull my hair in a whole lot of different ha hairstyles. My last retwist was November the 20th, right before Thanksgiving. I had two strand twists and I took my two strand twists out like two weeks ago and I have just been wearing it to work like this. And the reason why I wear a scarf all the time is because I try to prevent putting a lot of gel or jam around my hairline. And so when I put a little dab of jam or gel, I use my scarf to basically lay it down, tie it down, and to prevent frizz. And if you are in the military and you are a certain rank, we all get looked at and judged for how our appearance is, and hair is one of them. And so I'm gonna turn around and show y'all. So this is the side of what my hairline is looking like. This is the back. And then this is the other side. And that's all I do. I wear my hair like this to work all day. Sometimes I'll have like a few pieces hanging like this. Um, but when I do have a few pieces hanging like this, I try to twist it down like this and then like swoosh it back because I don't want nobody to say nothing about like my hair hanging in my face. And so I try to just make do without, you know, pulling and putting too much tension on my hairline. But have I seen an improvement in my edges and suffering from traction alopecia? Yes, I have seen an improvement. It's only been six months. And so I am going to see where I'm at six months from now and then see if they have any recommendations um, based off of how my hair is growing in. And then I'm also going to ask them if they offer hair transplants and how much, if so, will the military pay for it. But this is pretty much how I go to work every day. I wanted to show y'all my edges and give y'all an update on my traction alopecia. And before I get off of here really quick and finish getting ready for work and head out, I want to show y'all the topical ointment that I use around my hairline every night. Before I was using a solution and the solution just felt like it was making like my hairline like really really dry um and so I asked them could I switch to like an ointment or a cream and they gave me that and so that's what I am using and if you have any questions please link them down below I know a lot of people was asking me for updates on my TikTok and so here is the update I'm sorry it took me so long jump out of crib stack on my seat all this year killing my ego this year off of the people this year only believe in the real I do believe in no fear and I got gang in this I never switch on the tribe, I keep it all the way real I'm in control of my feels, you see my highlights, they study my real I'm showing more love this year, running more plays, finna scale up my business this year The world in my palm, I'm a star, I deliver my cadence, I'm serving up chills to my peers Bringing the bread for the fam, everything good on the side Everything coming together, new whip, no leash, no key in it. Now I know it wasn't nobody but one of my kids who cut this cake like this.
stretch. Cuban links on my neck, tank it. Freeze, smoking on dope that diesel. Freeze, running till I miss my season. Lay back, geek, smoking on dope that diesel. Yup, get gone off the deep end. Running till I miss my season. All right, y'all, so I am going to close out this video. I went to the morning jump, and if you do not know what to get, I'm telling you, the Golden Night with coconut milk, 16 ounce ice, is your best bet. You will not be disappointed. I will not steer y'all in the wrong direction. If you do not know what type of coffee to get, again, the Golden Night with coconut milk, 16 ounce ice iced um i also packed my pbo nco some red velvet cake i got my food and stuff like that when i go in this morning i will be doing some training i have some classes that i have to finish by the 28th and so what i said um yesterday before i left the office because you know like you mentally talk to yourself in your head i said listen when i go in tomorrow because today is wednesday the first thing i am going to do was knock out classes and have my certificates and everything done and i won't check no emails i won't do nothing until after i finish that um because i just don't want to wait until the 28th and it'd be the last minute so that's what i have going on this morning and then on the back end of course i am going to check emails and update some stuff i also started reading arc 710-4 last night um, about property accountability is talking about um, the accountable property system of record we are called APOs now accountable property officers still considered a property book officer a lot of the forms change like the 1687 change the 4949 change 2062 change and so there was a lot of updates and one of the commanders asked me yesterday what was the rank requirement for sensitive items and of course you know I had to go to the regulation I let her know like hey let me check the regulation first before I give you the wrong information because a lot of people will hold you to the PBO said this chief said this chief said that and so I went ahead and started reading the regulation and the rank requirement for sensitive items is still an NCO a warrant officer a officer or above um, commander's discretion so the NCO can be an E5 E6 E7 a lot of commanders would prefer a E7 do it but if you are in a small organization then you might have to get that E5 or that E6 to do it um, it cannot be the armor and the my recommendation is that it is not a 92 Yankee supply because we have access to G Army serial numbers and stuff like that so even though the supply sergeant may be a E5 or above you do not want to have like a conflict of interest where they are handling the property book and conduct conduct an SI but that's pretty much it for the most part my throat has been itching a lot lately and so like I feel like my voice is kind of raspy and I think it came from me hanging out over the weekend in South Carolina and the weather just keeps changing I also have on my shades every time I go through the gate like someone is always complimenting me on my shades and so I will link them down below and I showed y'all what they looked like initially I had been wearing my Lorbe shades um real real hard since Valentine's Day but I switched it up because I just purchased these but I will be um wear my Lorbe shades uh, throughout the rest of this month because it's February and next week is like the last week and so I think I'm gonna take these off tomorrow and start back rocking my Lorbe shades until the end of February. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all let me know if there's anything that y'all would like for me to talk about or discuss or whatever the case may be and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you share, give this video a like and if you have any recommendations in regards to what I can change or what I can do to make my content or my videos better than please list that down in the description box below but i hope y'all have a great day until next time my name is amelia peace